Hi there. Do you see the guy in the picture how he is captivated by the information he is reading? Well, we just found out why he is so captivated. It says in the media that the model presented today weighs over 600 grams. Are you also captivated now? Perfect, because we will analyze together what marketing tricks delivers in this more than half a kilo of product. Yep, you see very well, these are the weights by each half of it and that's the total. By the way, the Trix code number for this locomotive is 25666. Hmm, 666. Six, six. Anyway, with or without superstitions, let's find out what Mark and Tricks managed to compose in more than 600 grams, more precisely 610 grams of collection model. Inside of it, there is a lot of efficient simplicity and not very far from the usual standard of the last decade offered by the industry. And this can be easily proved by the large speaker solution used instead of at least one, if not two, sugar cube type speakers. Let's hope or wish that the supply chain of marketing tricks will discover in 2024 the capacitor, the power pack, and maybe the sugar cube type speakers. In fact, Behind the very unusual weight, there is the same oldie but goldie marketing tricks formula of a metal case, metal base, over which enough details are attached, but never like for a museum version, in this case suggesting you to pay attention to the poorness of the details of the driver's cabin. Plus, not more than sufficient digital environment and not more than sufficient near a possible maximum of quality sound package. Speaking of details in general, their model details are more suggestive than dimensionally rendered and attached. Is their successful profitable average formula? Let's admit it. However, our strong feeling is that the rendering of the mechanics position in the command post is very accurate at least based on real recordings made from the real cabin of this Swiss locomotive in all of the YouTube movies. What caught our attention and we propose for analysis is a very efficient yet very simple solution designed for the same model versions chosen by the collector after he opens the box either with showcase ends or with couplings. If you want a coupler installed, you just dismantle the corresponding cutout and the coupler will do its job among the showcase elements left in place. It reminds us of the famous Russian pen story in the cosmic space. It is an H0 scale locomotive, very powerful in addition to being very heavy. A qualitative chapter in which Markentrix 
never disappoints.
Regarding the lights, once again we observe maximum care related to the accuracy of all types of running or maneuvering lights typical of Swiss railways. Apparently, this detail, when efficiently controlled digitally, proves to be extremely important for the Swiss collector in the opinion of the manufacturers.
As mentioned in the recent video of the ESO model dedicated to AE6-6 locomotive, also today's model didn't pass our peculiar test on the Infamad diorama. Definitely it's a limitation of the bogey movement to the laterals, which is not a defect at all, as the model shouldn't run over there more than a few centimeters. In the end, only one conclusion after observing and evaluating this model. Swiss trains, especially Swiss locomotives, look somehow like stories. Nice and old stories where everything nice is possible. And this model will deliver this to the collector. Absolutely! Until next time, be safe and well, everyone!